The city in crisis is now looking at deep cuts of 2,500 positions and even services and departments. Here's what the deputy mayor says about the budget plan formally presented today to city council. There's a lot of disagreement on what's core, what's fundamental. I mean, from our standpoint, police, fire, transportation, public lighting, garbage, rec. But at the end of the day, you're not going to be able to provide all of those services. Kirk Lewis says non-essential services and departments will have to go. The deputy mayor made the comments at an event that included the governor, business leaders, and experts. Governor Snyder implored the crowd to take quicker action to save Detroit from failing financially. 7 Action News reporter Val Clark spoke to council members about their take on the budget cuts. This is like a soap opera. I mean, every week it's different. It's a new drama. And the latest chapter of the continuing saga is the formal presentation of the mayor's proposed budget. Ideally, it would save about $250 million. But as the mayor's staff explained, in order to do it, the so-called headcount of city employees needs to be reduced by about 2,600 jobs and accomplished through attrition, consolidation, vacancies, and yes, additional layoffs. The mayor's office is supposed to deliver the exact breakdown later this afternoon, but my guess is that we will achieve some of those cuts through att attrition, but not all of them. A lot of them will come from the conversations about departmental elimination and consolidations. It also calls for public lighting to be operated by an independent authority and bus service run by an outside third party and restructured to provide, quote, adequate service. There's also the possibility of unloading city airport, using federal grant money to retain firefighters, and negotiating, but perhaps imposing, collective bargaining changes. This sounds so dire. It does sound dire, but service was pretty crappy already. And so if there's a way for us to improve service by becoming more efficient, then that's what I want. I mean, I live here. I don't live in Ferndale. I don't live in Bloomfield. I live in Detroit. So, you know, I want to improve the service. I have a vested interest in the outcome of this budget and all budgets. So I want to make sure that we are approving improving service for everybody. As part of this painstaking process, there will be a series of individual budget hearings for certain departments. From downtown Detroit, Val Clark, 7 Action News.